Hi, I'm James Schillinglaw, and I'm here in the Bahamas at Atlantis Paradise Island. And I'm here actually for the 25th anniversary of the opening of the Royal Towers. And believe it or not, I was here. I'm that old. So uh, and I'm here also to inter interview Michael White, who is uh, just is opening a brand new restaurant. And what's that new restaurant? This restaurant is called Peranza, and we're at the Cove. We're at the Cove, which is one of the hotels here, and at Peranza. And tonight, we're going to get a chance to sample uh, a little of that. And we're going to talk to Michael about this new restaurant and a whole lot more on Insider Travel Report. Michael, first of all, um, let's talk about this new restaurant that you're opening. Uh, what's the cuisine and, and what are you trying to do here? At Peranza, we've just opened and it is Italian, coastal Italian, if you will. Mm -hmm. uh, very much uh, seafood based. Obviously, there's full service, but we really focus on seafood, uh, crudos, uh, handmade pastas with seafood. I like handmade pastas with seafood. That's what <laughs> you must too. <laughs> yes, absolutely. The, uh, and, and we're also doing uh, lots of, uh, of fish here, whether it be grouper, uh, we're using Bahamian lobster you name it, uh, but we're very, very excited to be here having a full service Italian restaurant focused on the cuisine of the coast of Italy. And also focused on sort of local specialties and fish as well, right? Definitely, definitely yeah. using property. You know, wherever we travel to, wherever we're working, we always used to, we like to use the product that is uh, closest to us, obviously for freshness and such. Uh, and it's, a, it's uh, the abundance here and, and the beauty of the water and, and using grouper and lobsters, as I said, they're sea urchins, you name it. Yeah, uh, so there's, there's a lot to it. I mean, it's amazing. We're looking forward to that. Now, why, why did you decide this is a good place uh, to open a restaurant? This, listen, Atlantis is really much the, uh, the East Coast corridor, if you will, uh, for, for guests, you know, whether it be New York, Boston, Long Island, uh, I mean, all over the United States, but really that's a basis of customer. And that's really the customer that uh, is uh, uh, in New York and knows. And so it was a natural, really, to be here at Atlantis and, and do seafood here. Uh, it's it's uh, uh, Atlantis is uh, uh, ubiquitous with the East Coast, and uh, I've been in um, uh, New York. Yeah, well, uh, you are famed for being in New York. I mean, yeah. talk a little bit about your your restaurants in New York, because I, I was telling you earlier, I think I've been to most of them. You, yes, you have. I'm sure you have. That you know, we've been uh, in business for years in New York City. Uh, we're opening new restaurants uh, as we speak in the city. A uh, new restaurant at 53rd and Madison, uh, so it doesn't stop. Uh, yeah, well, you had a, a Fiori, which a was Fiori, nice. A Fiori, Moray, uh, Osteria, Marini, Vaucluse, uh, Vaucluse as well. So, uh, you know, exciting to be uh, on the cusp of opening a new restaurant in, in New York City. Uh, we just opened in Miami, so things are uh, things are percolating again. That's great because you sort of took a hiatus during COVID, right? <laughs> well, listen, COVID wasn't good to any of us yeah. uh, in this in the hotel and restaurant business. Not on travel either. Like no, <laughs> no, no, no. But uh, it feels very, very good to uh, to be back uh, and and to see everybody out and traveling and eating and uh, it's. Uh, it's it's uh, definitely on the upswing again. Absolutely. Now, uh, you said you were opening up some new restaurants. Any any, any names you can give me yet? Sure. Okay. We just opened Mirabella in Miami okay. uh, at the Fountain Blue. I'm opening uh, uh, in Puerto Rico very, very soon as well. Um, we are opening uh, in New York City, as I said, in 2024. Uh, also in uh, in Dallas, Texas, at the Waldorf Astoria. So there's a, there's a lot on the books. Now you uh, haven't really gone into Vegas yet, right? No, but that's going to happen in January as well. So oh, amazing. Where do you know where it's going to be? It's going to be at the Fountain Blue. In fact, and that's opening up in uh, December, right? December 13th is the grand opening, and, uh, and we're part of the second phase because it's uh, on the one of the upper decks. I think I'm actually going to be out there in January or February sure. when you're out there. So we'll have to check it out because I I, I I saw I saw the construction that's been there forever, and now it's finally finally going to be a reality. It's really unbelievable, the, uh, the grand scale, 63 stories, uh, it's, it's really something. Well, you're, you're in grand scale here in uh, Atlantis and at the Cove, and you're going to be grand scale at the Fontainebleau, so you're, you're opening them some pretty impressive places. Right? Very fortunate. I don't take it for granted, that's for sure. Now, what do you think about the 25th anniversary here? Listen, excited to be here on the 25th anniversary. As I said, I remember watching it on TV, and now I'm here cooking and have a restaurant here, so I couldn't be more proud of myself and, and the staff and everybody and what we've done here. It's really, uh, uh, Atlantis is... Uh, pushing through it's it's uh, there's a lot of things happening on property here uh, with new chefs and new uh, locations so and there are a number of really named chefs down here right yes you know Jose Andres is here uh, Nobu Alan Shaya 
Uh, so there's really a lot of things. Again, all these, these names that, that I know as well and you know as well, it's really impressive that it's down here. Now, we go out to about 127,000 travel advisors out there who are sending their clients here, mm -hmm. and they're going to say, hey, you got to book this restaurant, right? That's right. I'd love to, all the 127,000 people, I can't <laughs> wait to see them here at their restaurant. Well, they got to come here and try it first for their clients, and then they can recommend it. Sure. But I'm sure that's not going to be a problem. Again, thank you for your time. I'm looking forward to, to, to eat the, the dinner tonight, uh, and looking forward uh, maybe maybe in January or February when you open up in uh, Fontainebleau in Vegas, it'll be looking forward to seeing that. I'm ready for you. I'm ready for you. Thank you, sir. Appreciate it. I'm uh, James Schillinglaw, and this is Insider Travel Report.